Welcome back to the channel guys, Corey's Fishing Adventures. We're in Sanibel Island today. I just got done with some jobs here. The island is destroyed four months later now. I'll show you a little bit of what it looks like, but we'll try to find some fishing holes along the way, see if we can find some fish. We know they're out there, so let's go find All right, so here we are right on the island side of the causeway and we just had an egret dive into the water. That's not a pelican, folks. That's an egret and he's looking for food. So let's see if we can find some food along with it. Got the live target here. Hasn't done much luck, but we're trying to make that happen eventually. We have some cloud cover. Um, we have a little front coming through later today this evening and the weather is in the low 80s right now water temp is about 70 and the tide is about midway up with the light behind me I'm able to see pretty good here it's really good conditions yeah I seen there. a good one here they're not biting oh, there's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, he was using dead shrimp, guys. And if you're trying to catch fish here, dead shrimp is not normally the way to go unless you're trying to catch sheep's head or something off the bottom. But when it comes to snook, they do not want dead shrimp. That is for certain. Nice hit, nice hit right there. Yep, there's one, there's one, there's one. Not a giant, but we got our first fish on the live target, guys. He did a little bit of damage to it. Sweet. The bigger ones are gonna come off the hook a little less easy because their mouth is thicker so it tends to stay hooked a little better there's a good one oh he spit the hook there was a that was a much bigger fish. That was a much bigger fish. I don't quite know, but he was definitely bigger. I didn't hook him good enough. I didn't set the hook good enough. Man. There's one, little one. Not too little, but. Nope, oh, and he spit the hook. There we go, perfect. Perfect release. All right, that's number three we got to bite today. Three, three hooked and three lost. Three up, three down. How cool is this, huh? just me all by my lonesome on this beach it doesn't get any better just me and the fish I love it I love living here I know we got decimated by the hurricane but the fishing is still good so we're just gonna pray and hope for a better future here and the rebuilding process is slowly gonna get back to normal and the people are gonna come back eventually and uh, it might take some time but 
let's pray for that and for now let's just enjoy the fishing you guys stay tuned for more videos we'll see you here in the sanibel fort myers beach area got one chasing it all the way in oh all the way to the tip of my rod well we got three to bite the live target guys but we're gonna switch back to this just because it's the end of my trip here and i want to catch one more fish There's a good one. There's a beast. Ugh. Going for the ducks. Going for the ducks. Oh, he's in the ducks. He's in the ducks. It's a big red fish. Oh. Ugh. It's a big snook. But it's harder to fight when I'm not on the beach. Oh, a good one. There's a good snot. I lose more of these fish trying to handle them. Oh, there he is. There he is, guys. Nice, nice one here. Nice one there. About 28 inches, just under 30. Close to a slot. Oh, okay. There he goes. All right, let's get him in the water. Nice male still. Nice male. Not quite a female yet. Real close. And uh, see if I can get a water release without slipping on this floor. folks we did it again we got that one really deep i was just trying to get the knot out of my line i cast it out past the docks and let it hit the ground i pulled up i thought i was stuck on something bounced it one more time and boom he grabbed it and i felt the weight because he was in deeper water and when he came up it looked like a redfish but it was a snook so we're happy with this day guys another video for y'all here on sanibel island Sanibel Causeway, and I'm Corey's Fishing Advent. The littlest, babyest snuck is sitting right in front of me, and he's not even moving. It's ridiculous. Ah, he grabbed it. He grabbed it. The littlest snook. I literally dropped it in front of his face, and he grabbed it. That's absolutely astonishing. 
how that just happened. I did not think for a second. Oh, he almost got me. The little ones you have to worry about cutting you on the gills because they're so lively. And, they, and you can grab them around their whole body, their whole neck. Compared to a bigger one, you can't grab them around the whole body. You have to usually grab them by the lip or their tail. Anyway, that was pretty cool. This is epic. Every possible way we're doing it. There's one. Oh, another good one. Stay on, baby. Stay on. Right. Don't jump. Don't jump. I'm, I'm gonna just try to muscle them in, guys, because we don't need these things jumping. Stay hooked. Stay hooked. Come on, we gotta land more than we hooked today. Oof. He's not that big. He's not that big. He's only about 24. Oh, and he let go at the last second. Let go at the last second. There he goes, right there. He's sitting right down there. He's still just sitting there, kind of just in shock right now. As much shock as I'm in that I lost another one. Lost four, landed two. I landed the biggest one and I landed the smallest one and I lost about four in between that side. What? A good day of fishing. All right, that's gonna be a wrap here. The weather's moving in and we're probably not gonna catch any more fish. So I'm gonna call this one a day. We'll see you tomorrow, this weekend. I have, I'm gonna be home all weekend and get some fishing in. So you guys, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you all.